Today is day 18 of the reinvent your career in 30 days challenge. And today we're in the AC series and we're going to talk about answering that horrible dreaded question. Tell me about yourself. Everybody's going to ask that and you need to have an answer. There is a right answer. It is the two minute drill. And I'm going to show you how to prepare your two minute drill. It is a two minute summary of five different parts that are going to walk you through very masterfully to from where you started to where you are today and why you're sitting here talking to the interviewer today in two minutes flat. And you need to practice this. I'm actually inside the course. I've got this worksheet. It's a, a worksheet to help tell you about yourself. And it gives you all of the different uh, prompts and examples of what you need to do in each of the different sections so that you can just download this and, and then fill it out. You can you know download it in, in, in black and white. Um, I did it in color, so it's good for you. Um, but you can download it and then practice. Draft your two-minute drill and time it. It's really important because the time that you have in an interview is very precious. Remember, only three to five percent of all the people who apply get to a face-to-face -face interview with the hiring manager. So it's very special. You need to use this time very wisely. And you've got five different parts that are going to run you the whole two minutes. So you're going to tell people what's not in the resume. Remember, they know everything about you. They've got the resume. Everybody shared the resume. HR has done some preliminary checks. They've looked at your, your LinkedIn page. They might have looked at your Facebook page. They've Googled you. And now they're bringing you into the office for only two reasons. Number one, they want to know how you present yourself, and they want you to answer this question. Tell me about yourself, and you need to know your why as part of that. So the two-minute drill is how you tell from where you started professionally and why you're here today. So the first 15 seconds is early background. You know, I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. I was able to attend UTSA, got my bachelor's degree in, um, in um, marketing, and then I got an MBA in international marketing. And it was wonderful that I was able to live in that beautiful city with such an international culture, et cetera, and earn my studies. Second one is the early career, and you've got 30 seconds roughly. And that's where you say something like, after I graduated with my MBA, I was wonderfully lucky to get hired by Frito-Lay in Dallas, and I had the opportunity to work for them for five years. It was fabulous. I worked myself up from a marketing assistant entry level, da 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 da, da. And I ended up as the, the group product manager for Cheetos brand, which is a you know $300 million brand, and I had all these wonderful opportunities, et cetera. That's my early career. And then you talk about your career progress, okay? My husband was in the military. I had a small child. He got transferred to a base in Delaware, Dover, Delaware. I had no option. I needed to be with my family. My, my husband needed to be with his children and myself. So I made this painful decision to leave the company that I love and move to Delaware, where I was lucky to get hired by a wonderful insurance company. And, and I was in brand marketing and I did these wonderful things and I worked for them for three years while we were on that assignment. So that's your career progress. Okay, that's 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how many jobs and where you went. The third part is the career progress. And then the fourth part is a 15 per second transition to why are you here talking to us today? And you say something like, my husband finished his military assignment. He's now retired and we're moving back home to San Antonio to be with family and friends and grandparents. You know, I need my, my kids need their grandparents. And I really need the help because I plan to go back full time into my career and having grandparents there close by really gives me more freedom to be able to travel and, and have the responsibilities that I want. And then the fifth time is why you're here. And so I'm, I'm, we've just bought our house. We've moved back and I am now getting ready to really start rebuilding my career using the wonderful experience I had at Frito-Lay and the wonderful experience that I had in Delaware with the insurance company, both consumer marketing jobs, et cetera, and they gave me different perspectives. But now I am ready to get back and rebuild my career and go to the next level of career success. And I hope to be doing it with you because I believe I could bring you this value and I'm looking forward to the challenges that you bring. Boom, 30 seconds, that's why you're here. So it's 15 seconds early background, 30 to 45% career seconds career progress, 15 seconds transition, why you're here, and then um, tell us about why you're here at this interview. It's that easy. 
right? But I have this worksheet inside the, the challenge that you can fill out. It explains this in more detail. Plus, there's a fairly long video that walks through step to step with, with visual um, examples and, and audio examples. So it's really worthwhile. So go inside the um, course or the, the challenge at www.reinvent. Um, your career in 30 days.com to get these materials. The second part of the tell me about yourself is why, and you've got to know your why. And it's the answer that why are you here today? Why should we, you know, what, why are you in this job? Why are you interested in us? And why should we hire you over the other three or five people who are coming in today and the hundred other candidates? So go inside and learn what your why is and how to express it appropriately because that can make or break you. Um, inside the course is this longer video with examples. There's also this downloadable worksheet, which I know is be very valuable. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about research is your key to interview success. And you've got to spend four to eight hours of research time preparing for every single interview. If you don't, if you cut it short, you, you shortchange yourself, you won't be as successful as you will be if you do the right research because it's going to let you allow, ask you to allow smart questions and understand their pain, which we talked about yesterday. That's how you're going to do it as research. We're going to talk a little bit about how you research your way to career success. If you've been enjoying what we've been talking about and what the material um, is inside this challenge, I invite you to learn more to go to www.acetheinterviewcourse.com. I'll put it down below. www.ace the interview course.com and there's lots and lots of information that you'll find about ways that you can improve your interview skills so that you can ace your upcoming interview see you here tomorrow and i'll see you inside the course just hop on over and we're going to probe this topic a little bit more with a lot more information so thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow back here on facebook live